everyone good morning welcome back makeup of the day get ready with me on oh my god it's wednesday i know uh february 8th it's 8 30 i think it's 8 30 yeah 8 30 in the morning i'm up a little early as you can see <laughs> um yeah the reason there was no uh get ready with me yesterday those of you kind of watch along and know what's going on with my crazy ass life had some water issues and water backing up and couldn't figure it out. Well, Greg and I finally gave up this past weekend and said, all right, call the plumber, call Aiello. Brought them in and, um, yeah, let's see. Uh, here's the beginning of the garage floor. And then there's, it's getting ripped out. And this is literally end to end of the garage floor. Uh, I got some makeup pictures in here. Really tunneled out all the way across. <laughs> this is the pipe that came pulled out, cast iron. And that is what I am left with <laughs> right now. <laughs> they wanted to charge um like fifteen hundred dollars for concrete. Greg used to work for a concrete company, so my husband can do everything. Uh, so we're like, uh, no, we'll do the concrete. <laughs> Concrete's like $5 a bag. Like, come on. That just shows, you know, companies can do it. But, yeah, that came with a $10,000 bill. But at least I have no water backing up. <laughs> so if my voice is all crazy, I sat outside yesterday. It was 30 degrees all day. But with this guy, while well, he was literally chops on and jackhammering my garage and it's just like a flood of gray you know dust coming out so I don't know how much of that I inhaled but that's why my voice is destroyed this morning and it only took the poor guy about yeah, over four hours or so but it's fixed I'm gonna use the KVD so I can get like a full run at it uh, medium 52 neutral I found this at uh, TJ Maxx but at least the situation's taken care of. And there was like a, luckily they did financing and all that. So it's like, they can't just expect you to come out with, you know, 10 grand out of pocket out of nowhere. <laughs> Cause they were literally, I called them on or emailed them on Sunday. They called you back like within 15 minutes and they were here Monday. <clears throat> the first kid showed up and to get the clog, which he caught. I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then we busted out the camera. And once we hit the camera, we could see the inside of that pipe collapsed. You couldn't even get the camera through. Because the kid managed to kind of break through, but sometimes when you break through a, a big clog, it makes the interior of it collapse down. So, yeah. It was interesting. But the nicest company I think I've ever dealt with in years absolute years whether it was the office people all the gentlemen that came out here I, I just wow and the first kid that came out 20 years old he went to tech school so that's why he's a plumber at 20 years old because normally you can't be a plumber at 20 but he went to trade school oh my god he was a little hottie <laughs> I was even yeah you know, I have fun with these boys I was like, oh my God, I wish I had some single girlfriends because I'd be hooking you up. I'm like, you are just a little doll, aren't you? He's like, oh, well, if you got any in the future, call me. <laughs> oh, so that, that was my fun, but th this even gets better. I don't go to Dunkin' Donuts. I make my own coffee at the house. Save hundreds of dollars doing making your own coffee. So I didn't know how many contractors were going to show up here tomorrow. I'm, I'm like, I don't know if there's one guy showing up or ten. And I'm always good to contractors, considering my husband basically is one. He's the boss, but he's still a contractor. I got up at 6 a.m. yesterday. Those of you know me. I don't get up at 6 a.m. unless <laughs> I'm, like, going to the airport <laughs> or gambling or something. I'm just putting a couple little dots on here. I only did one pump. This stuff tends to go a long way, this Kat Von D. Or, oh, KVD Beauty, sorry. I get up at 6 a.m. Because <laughs> I knew they were coming like after 7. Probably between like 7 and 8. 
brushed my teeth. You know, I think I brushed my hair possibly. Watched the news for a few minutes. Was like, all right, out the door by 6.30. Go down to Dunkin' Donuts. Now, I don't know what kind of people are, you know, how many people are going to be at Dunkin' Donuts at not even 7 o'clock in the morning. Because the place is usually busy. I've driven by it, you know, a thousand times. So, there was only three cars in the drive through And so I saw I'm going inside. Now, inside, there were just two gentlemen sitting down having coffee. One girl just grabbed her coffee walking out the door. And I am the only person in this place at this point. I said, oh, good morning. Hi. I said, I need a box of Joe. The first thing this girl says is, girl, you're killing me. I'm thinking, did this bitch just say I'm killing her because I'm asking her to make a goddamn box of Joe? This is a coffee place. And I, and I hadn't had my coffee yet. I said, when I went to leave, I started brewing my coffee. So when I came here, I said, I also need a dozen donuts. I, and I said, I want two blueberry muffins. I wanted a muffin for myself. She's like, do you want the muffins hot? I'm like, I've obviously inconvenienced you enough for now. No, just give me the damn muffins. So in the process, I'm like, oh shit, does this come with like cups and all that? Like, I don't do Dunkin' Donuts, like I said, I have no idea. This other guy was over, oh, are you waiting on the box of Joe? I was like, yeah, I go, by the way, does this come with cups or anything? Because, you know, I'm going to have to pull out my coffee cups for these guys' uh, essence blush. He goes, oh, no, honey, it comes with, you know, cups and sugar and, just, um, oh, my God, the spinner, the spinner thing, you know, sugar, creamer, all that crap. Comes with all that, stirs. It's early for me. I was like, oh, okay, great. So now the girl across at the register holds up this big bag, because I haven't, with the donuts, I said, I don't eat donuts, which I don't. I said, put whatever donuts in there. I don't know if guys eat more of a certain kind of donut. What the hell do I know? I don't eat donuts. So, oh, okay. Big bag box thing. They, oh, that's the cups and everything. Cool. There's another little bag next to it. I'm like, okay, there's my muffins. Put everything in the trunk of the car. Come home. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> the little bag was full of creamers. No muffins. So I said, okay, got the coffee ready for the boys. I said, well, let me just undo the thing of donuts. They're like all fucking pink. I'm like, oh my god. Like, just make a Two of each or something. Whenever that bitch was just like, girl, you're killing me. She's like, I didn't call fucking Dunkin' Donuts right there on the spot and be like, your main item you sell is coffee. I really don't need to be giving shit at not even 7 o'clock in the morning about, girl, you're killing me. It's like, girl, you have no idea. I'll come over this fucking counter and just destroy you. <laughs> I haven't even had my coffee yet. But how rude. How incredibly rude. I'm like, good thing they don't get my business on the regular. Because I was just like, I'm going to kill this chick in the middle of Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> like, you've got to be kidding me. Did this chick just really say this to me? Unreal. All right. I got these little Wet n' Wild palettes that I picked up from TJ Maxx also. Uh, this one's called Go Commando. <clears throat> you basically have uh, two mats and these three are shimmers. But, oh, I was livid. Absolutely livid. Going, I can't believe you just said this to me. You're killing me. You have nobody in this store but me standing there. And literally, like, three cars in line. I'm like, I don't know. Was I supposed to call in an order? What the hell do I know? You make coffee. That's your job. And the box of Joe things, like, makes ten... It's enough for, like, ten small coffees or something. And that cost me $34, and I still didn't get my damn muffins. <clears throat> I was pissed. <laughs> I was so mad when the muffins weren't there. <laughs> but, of course, I wasn't about to drive back down, because... Then it would have been on. <laughs> I'm not going to jail for a muffin. <laughs> but I'm like, this is just another reason why I don't, I hate their coffee anyway. It's disgusting. I don't even know how Greg drinks it. I make my own coffee and I save thousands of dollars a year <laughs> by making my own. So that was my fun yesterday. Hope you all had a fun Tuesday.
uh, laughing the mailman actually drove up my driveway. I said my driveway's 220 feet long. And brought me the mail, but I'm like, why is he out there? What the hell's going on? Because I happened to be in the house at the time. He was bringing in the Boxy and Ipsy. He's like, oh, they probably would have fit, but what the hell? I figured I'd you know, bring them up to you. Because he saw the guys were working, so he knew I was home. I'm like, dude, I've told you, if my car's out there, I'm home. And so the, the contractor's like, the guy brings you your mail personally? <laughs> I'm like, sometimes. <laughs> I'm just going to mix these two deepest shades together for crease. One's kind of cool toned, one's kind of warm toned, I don't know. And I'm laughing because at one point when the kid got to the end with the... I didn't realize, and Greg just totally spaced telling me that when the guy was giving us the prices and all this, that Greg was like, I am not paying that for concrete. He just totally spaced telling me that they, you know, we were going to do the concrete. So the kid's like finishing up. I'm like, oh, yay, the concrete's next, and then we're done. He's like, I'm not doing the concrete. I'm like, what do you mean you're not doing the concrete? He's like, it's right on the thing that, Angelo talked to your husband, and your husband said he would do it. I'm like, what? Can I see this in writing? And there it was in writing that, yeah, Angelo talked to Greg, and Greg said, hell no, I am not paying that, which would be $1,500 for some concrete. We'll be lucky if we spend probably $50 on concrete. Oh, okay, good to know. <laughs> but the brake is just enough back where if I needed to pull the car into the garage, I could still pull it in there. He's like, do you want to put a ladder over this or something? I don't want you to fall in the hole. I'm like, dude, it's a four-inch hole at this point. Because all we're doing is just, you know, where they had to cut through the pad of the garage floor. Because even then, I go, I don't know if it's four inches or six inches. This guy kind of did his own thing here, building this house. So I'm like, good to know, it's a four-incher. If you're in Connecticut or if you have ILO in your state, I don't know if they're just Connecticut or wherever. Great company. Great company. And I don't use that lightly. You know me. I'll be the first one to go, oh, hell no. And luckily it has like a year warranty. And I go, I'm kind of glad we didn't do the concrete yesterday. Because I've just, you know me, I'm so paranoid something else is going to happen. Because I'm like lighting up the dishwasher. I had two things, you know. Dishes to do, <clears throat> want to take a shower, flush the toilets, all that stuff. Going, oh my. I just want to make sure there's no leaks anywhere again. You're like, oh no, you got like a year warranty and all that. Cool. But, oh my God, I'm just dying from inhaling all that yesterday. Even the kid, he, was, he didn't have a respirator on or anything. I'm like, dude, you need a respirator. You should not be breathing this stuff in. I mean, and, and one guy did it all. He was here by himself. He's talking about, we're shooting the shit, my wife and his kids. I'm like, I hope your wife feeds you well, because damn, you are skinny, and I can see why, because you get a workout every day doing this. Between chop saws and jackhammers and, you know, hand shoveling it out. I was like, wow, dude. <laughs> You're a worker, and I like to see them when they're young and workers. Makes you go like, yeah. Um, what the hell am I going to, yeah, screw I'm going to do the green on the... Uh, backside, and I'll use this. This is a shimmer, too. I'll use the lighter on the inner part. And then got in the uh, Adept Cosmetics mystery box, which didn't really end up being a mystery because they posted it on Instagram. And that is, um, I'm going to use disappointing as a word. I was just like, no, that can't be the box. That's not going to be what's in the box. <laughs> it's literally one palette and eight liquid liners. And I know Caitlin bought it. I bought it. Uh, another girl, Lucy, I know bought it. Eight liquid liners. People were, if you go on a depths page or all that, find the posts, people are just not happy. I'm like, I love Adept, but boy, she dropped the ball on this mystery box. It would have been cool to go, go like, oh, sure, the palette, maybe two or three liquid liners. 
and then I was hoping maybe she came out with, you know, other highlighters or throw on a highlighter palette or something else. Maybe she came out with blushes. Nope. So we'll be doing that video. Don't worry. It's disappointing. And the, even the palette. Out of a 15 pan palette, 10 of the shades are matte. I was like, what? And the five shades at the bottom, I swatched them yesterday and they swatched horribly. So I'm like, okay, I hope it's one of these where they swatch horribly, but go on the eye and look good. I got a cough. <coughs> Sorry, I have a cough all morning. <laughs> Not a dust yesterday and freezing my butt off outside. But that's with a mystery box. You never know what you're going to get. It is what it is, right? Uh, I've got a NYX brown liner here. Epic Wear Brown Shimmer. I'm just going to put that on the lower lash line with the brown shade. And even Greg didn't want to pay that high price. I'm like, Greg, I'd rather pay that. I know they're insured. <clears throat> It'll come with a warranty. I mean, I trust my husband totally. And I know we could have probably did it. But it's like, he works hard enough. I go, the, the, I go, I watched this kid, babe. It was a lot of work this kid did by himself. And Greg has a screwed up shoulder like I do. Mine's, I have my left and his is his right. And I said, babe, just between the jackhammering and all that, I don't need you any more hurt than you already are. I go, just we'll leave it as is. Don't worry. Like, I'm not going to make myself sick over a bill that's, you know, five-year payment plan. It's like two twenty-five a month or something. And I could double those payments if I need to, and there's no, like, oh, you're in trouble if you paid it off early. There's none of that, so I'm not worried about it. I'm going to go with black eyeliner today, believe it or not. What do I got here? Uh, Estee Lauder, double wear. It's black. God, I'm tired. But even this morning, like when I came down here, I went, oh, God, let me walk in the room and just, like, again, praying for no water on the floor. But please just let everything work. We'll use the Gwen Stefani mascara there. Give Beauty, whatever it's called. And everything. We had a little uh, frozen action going here this morning. So they turned on the TV. I'm like, why are all the schools late? <laughs> I looked out on my back pad and I went, oh, it's an ice skating rink. Interesting. I thought I heard it raining last night. It was raining. I like the wand on this. And the formula did seem nice on Saturday when we used it. I say this mascara is like 20 bucks. Don't worry, I'm going to work today and tomorrow. Get, another, get ready with me tomorrow. I think I'm going to work. I don't know if there's anything to do. It's been quiet again. Oh, I just got my scarlet over my eye. Alright. Come on. I'm going to use the, I'm using just a bunch of stuff I picked up. Uh, LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liner. Uh, mauve. What's this camera doing? Oh, God, we're running really late. Oh, if it, if it 
blows out here. Let me show the eyes. Do do do. I know I only get 20 minutes, so all right. I'll go quick. In case it blows out, love you all. See you all tomorrow. <laughs> These are such nice liners. Got to sharpen them, though. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I think it's a bomb. <laughs> it's one of these clicky-up things. Slimline tube lipstick. <laughs> That's in the Sephora lip kit thing. <laughs> oh, feels nice. All right. I think I have... Oh, I forgot a highlighter. Mm-hmm. Too faced. <laughs> so I later brush. I brush. I'm like in rush mode now. Beat the camera. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, here we go. I forgot bronzer, all that. I don't care. It's actually 21 minutes. It's gonna explode any second. Love y'all. See you all tomorrow. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.